Welcome back, dear friends and deep thinkers. We're again, again managing the kingdom affairs, but we will also start some talks at least, and we'll go out questing. We have we have supported our treasurer, now ranked up our economy, and we will we will do more. We will do more. Um, but first we have to address a lot of problems, like this bloody vendetta. Can go tr for Tristian and Gea. Drink till you drop. Okay, that's a problem. Uh, we could increase this to a 75% chance. Okay. Um... Uh, that, that doesn't sound like a big problem. We'll see. Aha, uh -huh, a real war with a bloody vendetta. Tristan, we can increase this to 85 or to 100. Innocent people affected. Uh, problem. You don't want to pay taxes. You can't do that. Links here. Borg mischief. Yeah. We'll send out Regonga. Mysterious complaints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mendev Crusaders, that's an opportunity. And we have the shipwreck, so we could send Lindsay for the wealth of goods. And we couldn't, uh, ah, we have him for the Crusaders. And for the shipwreck, we'll send Lindsay. Mm. Yeah, the Order of Prisms. It's up to us to handle it. Uh, there are some projects. Ranking up isn't good. Um, research into the nature of curses. We should continue the curses stuff. Uh, we have 150 BP. Let's look for a rather cheap curse. Oh, that's all terribly expensive. Insufficient funds and yeah. Uh, I need to go out into the city, sell some stuff. We need to get to our stash. Um, pick up some things, sell some stuff and start one of these curses research things. Uh, the lightning belt. Four enhancement bonus to dexterity and charisma. Ooh. That's pretty fantastic. Uh, Let's have a look at the personal stash, and we want to sell it price in ascending order. And we crossbow one, composite longbow one. And then there's already the troll reaper grid. We don't need a dual sword. Uh, it's unidentified. <laughs> uh, agile rapier. Yeah. Uh, these are all kind of good, but... We also need money. <laughs> we also need maybe one of these bland great swords. Mm. Yeah, keen rapier plus one. We don't need it multiple times, I guess. Well, that's that. Who needs a freaking trident? Mm. 
moldy shit. Okay, so let's have that. Price in ascending order, yeah. A light shield plus one. Okay, we can have that. Heavy shield, chain shirt. Full plates, even. Chester's West, uh, yeah. Padded armor plus two. Okay. That should be enough to do purchase some BP, so we can um, acquire a bit more BPs and start one of these curses again. And we don't have to forget that in two weeks we will have another thing on the bold hilltop attacking us come on now get in there get out there get me to the merchants at once where did you meet Darwin speak or I'll skin you alive I don't know I don't know anything I swear I've never heard that name before please don't beat me anymore what's going on here this woman is suspected of having links with Darwin. We know that he bought food from her. I'm telling you, I don't know who that is. I've never seen him before in my life. Please save me from them. One way or another, I'll soon find out everything I need. Stop this immediately. I didn't give you permission to beat my subjects. It seems I was right in my suspicions. The rule of law in these lands is just a bunch of empty words, worth no more than a wooden coin. It's not surprising, seeing their ruler's weak will. Um, who gave you the authority to beat and intimidate my subjects? Thinks he gives you a scoffing half-smile. Certainly not you. You don't have the guts for that. You prefer just sitting on your throne and benevolently looking on while your so-called subjects set your fortress on fire. Okay, get out of my kingdom. Oh, we'll leave. Don't worry about that. I knew from the very beginning that you and the order follow different paths. Weak rulers don't deserve our attention, but no matter. They generally don't live long enough to be taken seriously. If a gaze could incinerate, there would be a handful of smoldering ash right where you stand. Hell Knights, we're leaving. We'll continue our investigation somewhere else. Don't get in the way of the Order of the Rack King. This is my final warning. Okay. Mm, yeah. I'm there. Get lost. Like to see your goods, man, and I want to sell you some stuff. Uh, sickle plus two. Yeah. Here, the padded armor, yeah. All of this stuff. That's steel. Now, let's look for one of these curses. About 200 years ago, the countries of Rostland and Isia existed within a territory that is now modern Brevoy. Bloody conquest united them into one state, though it failed to erase their differences, and Rostland still strives for its independence. Interesting. Um, I do what I must. But now, some more here. What about the Order of the Rack? That's economy. High Priest's endeavors, the Counselor's endeavors. No, no. Um, don't have time for that. Research into the nature of curses, but purchase BP before that. Okay. The ever blooming flower. Mm. 
Divine protection from poison. Oh. We'd like to... Give me that curse thing here. Go for the ever-blooming flower. 90 days. 45 days. The Hanvaki family. 75 days. Don't have time for that. Tristian. The defaced sisters. Armag. Skyth tree. Uh, we'll go for the Hanvaki family. Start the project. Wonderful, wonderful. And now we can go out and wander somewhere else, I think. Um, well, we can... Ah, so, yeah. Already... We could be ranking up with a high priest, well, be, except we could not. What would we need here? 100 BP and her, but she's drinking till she drops. Right, um, treasurer, general warden, grand diplomat. Okay, here we go. Um, I think this wasn't a bad idea. Let's. Yeah, I think we need some of these BP for the next Curses expedition. Uh, we will go and start to speak with Valerie and with Knock Knock. And with whom else? Let's see. Errands, mm, errands. Next development, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trail of Misfortune. Intervene in Varnhold. Talk to Cheryl. Ah, oh, my Desna's path. The thief in the Verisian caravan. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Judgment of the Gods, talk to Valerie and talk to Knock Knock. Mm, I think we we have them outside. Let us see what we can do outside. Come on now. Hell Knights are not the most cautious guests, are they? And the Hell Knights from the Order of the Rack are the vilest of them all. Ah, here you go, Mr. Talvin. Tan skin, half elf with green eyes, looks at you respectfully, but with a smile on his face. My name is Talvin. So, what do you want, Talvin? First of all, I should explain myself. You hear the note of guilt in this half elf's voice? After all, I was the reason this crazy zealot stormed upon your lands. She won't stop on chill. She turns every house in the neighborhood upside down. Hoping to find my hat, my sock, or a flea that had my passing acquaintance. He utters a sad sigh. Of course, all of Lynch's accusations are false. That is to say, they are not entirely true. It's true I am involved in this story, but my sins are not so great as they are thought to be. Tell me your story. It's so long, I don't even know where to begin, he grins. Although I guess you're only interested in the things I've been accused of. I, I did in fact kill a childish noble and I participated in a rebellion, but all of this happened by total accident. I was captain of a ship that sailed the inner sea. We traded with those who were stronger than us and traded those who were weaker. It's regular life for a man of my profession. One day we stopped at one of the Chalix ports and then that's when it all started. I caught sight of a certain churlish noble, for a long time been number one on my kill on sight list, so I challenged him to a duel. 
and he was too stupid to refuse. I dispatched him, only then to learn that he was a distant relative of Chalix, his crown prince, and besides that, the lord of the surrounding lands. And of course, no one in the area was at all fond of him. After his death, the rebellion broke out. That's nothing new for Chelyax. As his accidental killer, I was named the rebellion's leader. But I assure you, I fled the first moment I could, leapt upon my ship and set sail. A month later, I found out I'd become the main reason for a great tragedy and an enemy of the Chelish people. So what did this Chelish noble do to make you so angry? Once, long ago, long before all this rebellion nonsense, I used to be a simple sailor who served the Teldarian merchant fleet. Good old times, the mighty empire of Teldor. Uh, okay, an old empire or something like that. With paladins, okay. Dwarven, Dwarven squints dreamily, continuing to watch you closely from under his half-closed eyelids. The blazing sun overhead, the salty taste on your lips, the squawk of seagulls calling you forwards, ropes squeaking in the storm as you fight against the sea itself, winning in the end. Of course, I see now why this story is so long and of course the line on the land on the horizon when you know that tonight you'll have a mug of rum in one hand and a smiling girl to share it with Dar darwin gives you a sly smile but all that came to an end when once a certain shellish noble decided that he liked our goods but didn't like our fleet i survived the battle barely clinging to a piece of driftwood lost on the open sea like me I swore I'd have my revenge, so I decided to become a pirate myself, a pirate captain, as need be. You can't always get what you want, you know, unless you're me. Darwin gives you a smug smile. And what do you want from me, Darwin? I'm glad you ask. I have so much to offer. You see, I'm rich, and I don't mind sharing my riches with those who can help me with my troubles. Lingxia, on the other hand, will give you nothing. I doubt she'd even say thank you. I know where Nilingxia has set up her temporary camp in a secluded lodge on the edge of the southern Null Marches. Go there. Convince her to stop chasing me. Order her. Kill her if needed. It should be difficult. So what do you say? We have a deal? Hmm. Figured you'll buy me. Why not? Everything and everyone has a price. It's just a matter of negotiation. So how much do I cost by your estimation? That's a fine question. I suppose 10,000 gold coins will be a satisfactory amount for you. Uh, we we should take 20,000. Unfortunately, at the moment, I cannot afford to pay more. Let's agree on 10,000. But the rest of my tab, Darwin gives you a disarming smile. Uh, um, uh, I think we shouldn't take some uh, I mean we don't want to help a pirate but we don't uh, nah, I mean she's worse okay lawful neutrally deal with him yeah I, I think we I think we'll help him I'm so glad to hear it his smile remains as smug as before Feel a hint of relief behind it. Please deal with Lynx as soon as possible. I'll find you after you resolve the situation. Okay. A deal with the devil? Yeah. Uh, I mean... Yeah. These people are just insufferable. Okay, let's let's go talk to Knock Knock. He's just around the corner. We should move. I'm off. Hey, Noki, old friend. One of Knock Knock's ears perk up at your approach. He fixes you with a single eye and waits. I heard your tribe is building shrines to Lamashtu near the capital. Yes, we praise the mother of beasts. You want to repay respect to her? I will show you. I guess I have no choice but to visit those shrines. You like it? Promise. Um, I haven't heard much about goblins since the trading posts. Where are they? Hiding, sneaking. Goblins good at sneaking and hiding. Vanessa! We'll hear from us soon. No worry. Okay. I should go. All right, that was short. I'm there. We should visit it and, and make ourselves... Yeah, we should have a look at the situation ourselves, right? That is... What anyone reasonable would do. 
with goblins. Valerie, glad to see you. I heard you received an unpleasant letter lately. Let me guess from Lindsay, right? She keeps poking her nose into other people's business. She lowers her hat sadly. Forgive me, Manu Khan. I was hoping I'd manage this without your help this time, which is why I didn't tell you a while ago. I received a letter from a new temple of Shelin on the outskirts of Pitax, from a paladin of the Order of Prisms. This time they're not demanding that I return to the Order, instead they want me to go there and submit to a great divine trial, and answer for all my transgressions in front of Shelin's worthy servants. Valerie scoffs in indignation, of course I tore up the letter and tried to forget about it, but now they've begun to plot against the entire kingdom. I was hoping that I could just ignore them this time too, but it seems I shall have to meet these stubborn fools face to face and explain to them what their tricks might lead to. Uh, let's go there together and get to the bottom of this. Thank you, I'm ready to go to the Temple of Prisms as soon as you have the time. Thank you. See you later. Okay, so we have to go to the Temple of Prisms. Wow, this is going to be a lot of planning. Ha ha ha. So we have to visit the clearing together with Knock Knock. And we have to go to the temple together with Valerie. <sighs> Can we pick up both? And now I think we have to take this step by step because Valerie and Knock Knock both uh, are replacing a Miri in our setup. The temples should be near, so we'll do the knock knock thing first, I think. Okay, little tavern. Knock knock knock. Lightning Belt, Dexterity and Charisma. Uh, that will be something for her too. And Lightning Bolt. Yeah, I knew. <laughs> <laughs> Already have the headband for that, right? Dexterity and constitution. Let's uh, let's knock knock have bad weapons. I mean, here's the gift of death and the arcane protector. That is pretty good. He doesn't have any mantle and boots. Uh, yeah, let's pick up some boots for him. In due time. And a mantle. Wait, is this the tavern? It's the tavern, of course. Knock knock needs a cloak. And if we have, we should get an armor and boots. Maybe a dagger. Follow if you dare. Knockity knockity. 
Yeah, I started leather plus two. Belt of Dexterity. Okay, let us see. Let us see. Agile short sword. Um, price in descending order. Arcane Enforcer, Menace Storm. We have Mother's Care and Mother's Warmth. They should be his. And... Light Armor Leather. Scorpion's Hatred. We get that. And Belt of Giant Strength. Cloaks. Ring of Protection plus three, Braces of Armor plus five. Yeah, Mighty Constitution. Giant Strength Belts. Yeah. Gloves of Dueling. Not convinced. Rogue's Companion. Mm -hmm. What do we have here? Cloak of Resistance. Yeah, we just need a Cloak of Resistance. A lot of natural armor. Hmm. Plus three. Wonderful. Knockity knockity. Look at that. We might give him some strength, right? That would help him so much. Protection plus one. Braces of armor, just in case. Uh, the nymph's gift. Lightning belt. With the gift of death, two unholy sacrificial. Uh, mother's womb, too keen flaming. Too keen frost. Okay, we will use those two because they work together so well right mother's care composite short bow is nice um i'll get a bit of armor scorpion's hatred how heavy is that helmet Yeah, might be better to to have light armor and to give him a, some kind of a strength thing. Yeah, uh, where's that belt? Giant strength plus six. Um, we have bows, composite short bow, um, 
No problems, man. That's just point blank and precise, should you? I think we'll try that thing. Okay. If I give you that. And plus two. Nobleman's amusement. Uh, let's see. We have this thing. Six to nine. Three to ten. Yeah. And get that and that. Wonderfully wonderful. Let's see if we can give him some kind of hat again. The skull of Duthika. Okay, so we have that helmet. Marksman. Flamboyant hat. What is this? The stag helmet. Yeah, he'll get the stag helmet. You'll get your stag helmet. Can you wear that? I wear it medium now. What's too heavy? I mean, if we take that away. And if we take that away, that's not enough. <laughs> that's not enough. Yeah, he should be better protected, right? That's, that's important. Can keep the braces of armor. Take these things away. Oh, and then, of course, um, we need to level him up before we leave. Rogue classes knife master. Yeah, you knife mastering. Uh, dexterity would be nice. Yeah, we could go wisdom or something, but really, dexterity is where it is. Uh, of course, we want trickery. Uh, first of all, we want stealth. Mobility, trickery, perception, and then athletics. Here we go. Wonderful. We can have another uh, thing. We can have a combat trick. Uh, point blank shot. Blind fight is pretty good. Dazzling display. Mm, out flank. Vital strike. Precise strike. That's the critical focus. Um, Attic rolls made to confirm critical hits. No, oh, I mean, that's... Uh, can't we have like something like a weapon focus? We could have weapon focus, right? Um, but to what? Cookery? Nah, nothing. Okay, let's go back. This 
went entirely not as I wanted it. Um, blind fight would be good. Combat mobility would be good. Mm, critical focus would be nice. Defensive combat training. Ah, I so like critical focus. Blind fight is much better. So that would be something. Canny observer. Perception check. Crippling strike. Double with familiar. Okay. F confusing iron guts. One against all poisons. Slow reactions. Intimidating terrain mastery. Uh, opportunist. Um, the character can make an attack of opportunity against an opponent who has just been struck for damage in melee by another character. Counts as an attack of opportunity for that round. Oh, that is fine. That is cool. Improved evasion is also nice. Fast stealth. Eh, double debilitation. Canny Observer. I don't know. I, th I think Blind Fight is pretty good. What also is good would be Opportunist. But Blind Fight is better. Here we go. Next things next. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're we're totally physically everything out. What should we go for? Dazzling display. Oh, we're not good at that. Improved blind fight. Hmm. Okay, that's also against ranged attacks. That's a bit over the top, I think. Precise strike, uh, shield skill focus, vital strike. Mm. Nah, we have so many attacks, we don't need vital strike. Critical focus is good. Combat mobility is good. Mm. Die Hard Endurance. Ah, uh. uh, let's go critical focus. So Complete more critical hits. And then... And then we should go wandering around, I think. Um, leave this town. And yeah, we'll we'll see, we'll see. We and the two cookeries can go to the goblin clearing. Path to this is unknown. Uh no, I don't want to enter this. So 
So, we will explore this uh, region. Now, let's see what we'll find there. I'll probably do that in the next episode. Yeah, we'll do that in the next episode with good buffs and one with the shadows. We'll see what we'll do here. We're certainly well equipped, well prepared for anything that could we could encounter. We'll see what we'll find here together with Knock Knock. We'll show them what we're made of or something. Um and we'll find out about these Lamashtu shrines. Have a great time until then. Happy gaming. This is Immanuel Khan signing out. See you soon and happy gaming. Until next time. Have a great time until then.